guys so today we're going to be doing part two of the four wheel steering conversion which is the front rack and pinion these are something that if you don't have you probably shouldn't even be doing this they're called line wrenches or flare nut wrenches and uh they're probably about 25 dollars for a uh, double ended set You're just going to want to keep your steering wheel aligned. You have your four lines here. You have two brackets here that you want to take out at the, after you disconnect everything else. And then you have your tie rod ends on both sides where you have to disconnect and get out of the knuckle. Which we've already done all of that. Uh, steering shaft here that's covered by a boot, 10 millimeter. It's just as a reminder to push this uh, steering shaft knuckle off with a steering shaft. There's pretty small pieces of hardware here, so definitely keep track of them. So, little things here along the way I feel are probably gonna make this a lot easier. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right here that holds the bracket for the 17 millimeter line. You can see that right there. And then we realize that in here, where it's hard to see the U-joint in there and the, and the knuckle, I don't know what you want to call that, the knuckle in here and the spline that it goes onto, they only go through a little tiny hole on the subframe and it's pain in the ass. So up here, right here, you can take that boot off there if you need to. Take the other 10 millimeter off and get that little knuckle piece out of there. It's almost like a U-joint that connects them. It's easier to reach this from the top and the bottom, guys, for sure. So you're gonna wanna just get both of those two 10 millimeters off from the top. All right, so all I gotta do now, guys, is take the mounting bolts out and get it all out. guys fun stuff really messy um so once you've got everything disconnected properly it's a pain in the ass to get this out what you need to do is get it as much as you can over towards the passenger side take the driver's side tie rod and push it up and force it down through this little piece right in here and then you got to push the tie rod all the way in and then in there once you get this piece out in here, that spline in there, once you get that out of the subframe in there, you're pretty much good and it's gonna come right out. Guys, back to you here with another part of the four wheel steering conversion where you're gonna align things. So here we got the front rack and pinion out right now. And <clears throat> as you can see, it's all the way pushed over here on this is the driver's side tie rod and so basically what you got to do is count the amount of spins here so that you can center the rack and we went ahead and we put one of these vice grip pliers on there lightly so we're not mashing up the the splines but it's on there tight enough it's not going to fall off when we start spinning it so we went ahead and bottomed it out all the way down to one side and we're just going to go ahead and count the turns now from this position here one, two, looks like uh, all right guys, so I'm kind of a visual person. And so basically what we've done here is we drew a circle and made it almost like a pie chart. And right here you can see this is the starting point and it stopped on this side right here. So we have out of four quarters, three of the four quarters and it was two turns. So we end up with two and three quarters and you're just going to go ahead and divide that in half to center the rack back to the pie chart so three quarters divided by one half is three eighths so basically you have one and three eighths is where you're going to center the rack at and so basically what that is is you start here you go around once then you go three eighths over so three 
eight out of a full eight pieces. And there you go. You end here with three eights. Ta-da. I went ahead and put it back all the way. Lock on the driver's side. Yeah, this shit just keeps leaking and leaking it sucks because it gets all over you but I went ahead and disconnected the four bolts for the sway bar brackets because you're really going to need that turn to get this thing all the way into which just ridiculous. when you're looking at this out of the car it looks a little bit weird but basically what's going on here is that this four post splitter here this line right here is the new line here that goes to where the distribution shaft is. And so you're going to want to go ahead and put this splitter and this line onto the new rack and pinion. You can use your old lines or you can use the ones that came on here. Obviously I'm going to be using the best. Here you can get a good look at where the other splitter is. That's only a three splitter and it's right behind the tank going to be a 10 millimeter bolt for this bracket. Tightening all these lines here on the rack and then uh, went ahead and bolted back the uh, sway bar brackets and right now we're just making sure everything's hooked up and plugged in and we're going to go ahead and do the tie rods on both sides but in order to do that we have to line it so we'll get back to you when we get to that part. 